Good morning, cuties. Happy February. Happy Black History Month. I wanted to quickly pop in here and say that I've been loving this mask. And it's the Kiehl's Rare Earth Deep Pore Cleansing Mask. Has anyone used this? Anyways, I usually stay away from clay masks, but I actually really like this one. And yeah, welcome back. So happy y'all are here. Love you lots. Just working right now, but I wanted to mention that because I'm doing a little bit of a midday mask thing. Okay, I'm off to go get some climbing shoes. This is what I'm wearing. Some Levi 550 students. My uh, New Balance 530s. Aritzia Mega Puff. This gorgeous bag I got from the company called Can. It's K, oh, it's kind of hard to see. K-A-A-N. And a little beret. Because it's cold outside. Okay, bye-bye. I haven't vlogged for a couple days because I've been I've had a cold and I'm just at the tail end of it and I have been so low energy I didn't have COVID it was just a cold both my boyfriend and I were sick so we've just been kind of hermiting at home for the past little bit I also hate winter winter sucks I forget how bad it is every year and we get here and I'm like oh my god this is awful anyways it is about noon and it's Wednesday, February 8th, and I'm about to go meet my boyfriend at the climbing gym. Last Thursday, we did a belay course because as y'all have seen in previous vlogs, I have been climbing quite a few times before, but I never have belayed anyone because I'd never done a belay course before, but we both did it. And now today we have to do our test, which I'm so freaking nervous for. I hate tests. I don't know why we couldn't have just done it the day that we did our core. But now I have to do the belay test today so that we can climb there. No problem. So I'm going to meet him there. We're going to do a little climb and then I'm going to get back to work. But yeah, I've just been sick. I'm sorry. It's been kind of a rough start to the new year. <laughs> just things have been not great. Hi, B's and G's. The climb was good. My forearms are already 
sore and it is now what time is it i just got out of the bath at 6 p.m i have some leftover turkey soup for dinner but i wanted to make these miso peanut butter cookies i've been wanting to make them for so long i just found this recipe on the new york times cooking app which i've been using a lot more recently so i'm gonna make the cookies also i'm about 165 pages into the idiot so far so good sometimes when i'm reading books i do feel genuinely uh i don't want to say like not smart because i do think that i am knowledgeable about some things that are important but um this definitely i've looked up some words in this one and it's obviously follows a very bright individual amongst other bright individuals so lots of topics that i wouldn't necessarily be drawn to or be knowledgeable of in my everyday life so i think it's really good so far so far i'm liking it but yeah okay i'm gonna make cookies now probably not gonna film the process but i'll show you when they're done <laughs> whoops hi cuties i'm going climbing i wanted to show you what i wear when i climb i don't think anyone cares but we're going again today it's like 6 15 i'm running a little bit late actually i'm supposed to be there at 6 30 that ain't gonna happen it ain't gonna happen uh, I just wear leggings and a big shirt to cover my camel toe and then usually a sweater because the climbing gym is so cold Sarah's actually doing her belay lesson today so Jake my boyfriend and I are gonna go climb because she'll be there at the same time but I'm honestly so sore from yesterday I think I might just sit back and belay maybe for most of it was I covering the mic no I wasn't so yeah i had to buy new climbing shoes because i don't know what happened to mine so i just got these scarpa ones they're pretty common there's not that many ones available i like mec and then i just have a what's it called a black diamond uh harness i've had it for like two years now i guess and i don't use chalk that much actually i found when i'm rope climbing indoors before i was i was only climbing outdoors so i definitely felt like i was needing chalk a little bit more and then for bouldering i would just like chalk up once and then go up so i don't actually wear my chalk bag while i'm climbing i probably should but i'm doing super easy routes guys like we're talking five seven five eight five nine <laughs> like i do not do five tens um i just like to do the chill stuff the ones with the big holds so all my fingers can get around them but it's fun um we've been going during the day when it's been really mellow so that's nice it's probably gonna be really busy right now so i'm not super looking forward to that i have performance anxiety it does seem like people are focused on what they're doing so I'm, i know that people aren't like watching me but it's still a little bit anxiety inducing anyways we get two free weeks of climbing that's why we're going so much and the pass itself for like a month is pretty expensive so i don't know what pass i'm gonna get afterwards um but i probably will get like a 10 punch pass or something like that to like keep up with it i don't want to lose this skill and then obviously once summer comes around we can climb outside which is free and so much fun so anyways yeah i'm gonna go climbing also the cookies didn't turn out boo probably because i overdid them i felt <gasps> Oh my gosh, I have red pepper burps. Does anyone find that? That red peppers make you really burpy? I did the amount of time they watched, but I didn't, oh, like I didn't, wasn't watching them. I just set my timer and left, so that's probably my fault. Anyways, okay, I'm gonna go. Good morning. It's Saturday morning. I just got some dust on there. I just got a decaf Americano from Demitas. I drove out here because I've been thinking about Demitas for what feels like weeks and I just wanted to treat myself today. I've been feeling particularly deflated over the past, I wanna say month and a bit. Winter has been really challenging this year for me for some reason. I also was sick and it just was really hard to kind of bounce back and feel inspired and motivated. And I'm still sort of feeling that and today I'm just spending the day alone, like all of my friends are busy, um, my boyfriend is busy, 
and I'm trying to just be really gentle on myself. This morning I went on a walk and I listened to the Reset podcast with Liz Tran and I love her and every single time I listen to that podcast I feel so much better afterwards. The way that she conveys things and um, she just has a really strong message and a really great way of articulating um, things to me and so I really like listening to her podcast. Anyways, I also got some veggie samosas because I love their veggie samosas and I mean all their baked goods are really delicious. So now I think I'm going to just kind of cruise around Oak Bay for a little bit. I love driving around here. Definitely um, something I enjoyed doing when my mom was living here too is just like cruising around and looking at houses and stuff. Anyways, so I'm going to do that and then I don't know. I really want to stay busy because I do know that if I go home I might end up being in a slump of being on my phone and not really and like I feel like ex spending extended periods of time on my phone is like definitely gets me down and even worse but the sun is coming out a little bit I am happy about that and tomorrow morning I'm going to Vancouver with my boyfriend for a Nikki Keem show so that's really exciting, but I just have been, I don't know. It's been a challenging time, and I think a lot of it actually, I haven't really been able to articulate, like, in my mind how I've been feeling, or really understanding how I've been feeling, and so I think that's also another challenging thing, is when you don't really know, you can't um, conceptualize your feelings, or like, I don't know, really understand them. I feel like I am a mystery to myself right now. <laughs> Any who's there. I just wanted to catch up with y'all and um, I'm really sorry that these vlogs are not exciting or anything but my life isn't really that exciting all too often. <laughs> I'm just trying to make the best of it. I've really been enjoying climbing, that's been fun and uh, yeah so that's what's going on with me. I also have been, I think, particularly anyone let me know if you can relate, I've been particularly antisocial recently. And because I've been sick, I haven't been able to go out and I missed out on a few like outings with all my friends. And so I think it's, I'm having a hard time feeling like I feel a lot of social anxiety about going back and hanging out with my friends, which is very strange for me because I'm very friend orientated and I love spending time with them. But I feel like I used to be able to just easily ask anybody, even somebody who I don't even see that often to just hang out or like, do you want to go get a drink or whatever? And I'm finding it really challenging to get myself to do that these days. So that's another thing that's been kind of confusing to me because it's out of character. Okay, I'm going to start blabbering on. I'm going to have a bite of this samosa because I'm really hungry. And I also wanted to put together... I see this woman talking to her dog. Man, I wish I had a dog. Do you ever feel like everything would be better if you had a dog? Um, I also wanted to put together a, like a couple... Oh, Buddy's walking so slow and she's just talking to him. Just having a conversation. I love that. Um, I wanted to put together like little Valentine's Day things for my gals, so maybe we'll do that today. I don't know. Okay. Bye-bye. Upside down, captured in a moment